Hi guys, it's me, Lunar. Welcome back to another daily Skyrim console mod video for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Today we have six more mods to look through for Skyrim, three for PS4 and three for Xbox One as always. Now I've been getting some comments recently that the mods in the videos are just kind of repeat mods of older mods already out, so they're pointless to cover, but I just cover what there is, so if a big mod is out, I will go over it. If not, if a new mod is out that's the same as 10 other mods I've gone over before, I will still cover it if there are no other mods to go over. Anyway guys, let's jump into number one. Our first mod is actually two separate ones, but they do similar things. With these mods you can now wear circlets with hoods, and a second mod lets you wear circlets with masks, so like Dragon Priest masks now. The mod doesn't have any other features than that, it does what it says. It's a small but useful immersive mod that's worth downloading. Our next mod is a beautiful ground cover from The Lawful. Yesterday we saw another mod that goes well with this one, which was the Reflective Blue Water, so I have installed that mod right now to go with the new ground. So the mod changes the dirt and grass of the ground covers to make them look better. It changes six dirt textures altogether, including the one around Markarth, which is where I am in the video, so we can see the difference. Personally, I do think it looks better, so I'm going to keep this one installed. Again, nothing really complicated about these mods. Either you like it or you don't. If you do, then you can install it. If you don't, then you can just leave it. Next up we have two more mods that I put together and they have been out for Xbox One for months now but they got released today for PS4. The first one is Map Markers Unlocked and this makes all or almost all map markers in the game visible and ready to fast travel to. The second mod allows you to fast travel from anywhere and that includes inside of buildings, caves and other interior cells. Both mods are extremely useful, especially the Map Markers Unlock one, I've been using that since it was released on Xbox. So unless you play Realism I definitely recommend downloading these mods. In Morrowind, the player could join the Imperial Legion and rise in ranks, acquiring prestigious titles like Knight Errant, Knight Bachelor and Knight Protector. The player also got awarded armour pieces that set them apart from the common soldiers. This mod draws inspiration from the armour worn by high ranking Imperial officers in Vardenfell and adds three sets of equipment forged in the Imperial style. Each equipment set consists of six helmets, one cuirass, one pair of boots, two pairs of bracers, a sword and a shield. Beast races are supported, though they get only three styles of helmet. The Knight Protector item have the same stats as their ebony counterparts. They can be crafted at the forge using the ebony smithing perk. The Knight Bachelor items have the same stats as glass equipment and they can be crafted if you have the glass smithing perk. And the Imperial Spy Master items have the same stats as Knight Bachelor equipment. But are slightly lighter, they can be crafted if you have the glass smithing perk as well. A full set of equipment has been placed in Castle Dower in Solitude. Look for a locked container in the storeroom next to where General Tullius it usually is. The armor is very cool and also comes in a blue version as well if you want it, but you might get confused with a Stormcloak, so maybe red is better choice. Our next mod is the Squadron Teammate System. I actually really like the idea of this mod. Four archers will now accompany you on your journeys. They are not essential and will die eventually during battles, but they will respawn depending on what the NPC respawn time is, which I think is around three days. They will grow stronger as you level as well. So now you will have a full team to help you in combat. I like this mod, it's quite cool having your own little group of archers killing things for you. I would love to see similar mods of different kinds of NPCs. I guess this one feels different from having followers because these guys just kind of feel like soldiers, you know, they don't have names or anything. They're kind of your own personal guards, so it's cool. Our final mod is Moldy's Improved Whiterun. This mod is another mod that adds in loads of small features to Whiterun. On the outside of the city, new clutter has been added in, like tables and chairs for guards, barrels, crates and lighting. The little room on the outside that was empty before now has a bed inside of it. The inside of Whiterun is very much improved. New trees have been added, a big one right in the entrance as well which is really awesome. New clutter like shields on buildings, banners, bunting, boxes, barrels, chairs and tables along with loads of different lampposts. One of the best things is that there are new market stalls going around the city and I think it makes a big difference to the way it looks. Overall, out of all the different mods that try to improve Whiterun, this is my favourite one so far. I hope that Moly continues to add in more stuff here as I think it could still get more in without it being cluttered and I'm excited to see what other city improvements he has in store. So an awesome mod. Well guys, there we have it, six brand new console mods. I want to thank all of you for watching and I'll be back again soon with more Skyrim videos. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest content, click on the subscription button on screen if you haven't done so yet, or click the link to my previous video to keep up to date with all my latest stuff including console mods, guides and news every single day. Turn the notifications the little bell thing next to the subscribe button as well to get notified of my latest videos as soon as they come out. You can also follow me on Twitter as well if you want to. But with all that being said guys, until next time, stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video.